controversy swirled over the mechanics of the Alabama Senate election after the state Supreme Court intervened at the 11th hour to give election officials a green light not to preserve electronic ballot records that could form the basis of a recount. A court in Montgomery, the state capital, issued an injunction on Monday afternoon ordering election officials around the state to preserve digital images of the ballots cast by Alabama voters in the hard-fought contest between controversial Republican Roy Moore and Democrat Doug Jones. But the Supreme Court stayed that injunction almost immediately following a protest lodged by Alabama's chief election official, the Secretary of State, John Merrill. Voting rights experts denounced the ruling as a blow to transparency in a state that already has a flawed vote recount procedure and a somewhat checkered history of questionable election outcomes that the state's senior officials and courts have allowed to go unchallenged. There's no legitimate reason not to preserve ballot images, said Christopher Sauter, a veteran Washington election lawyer who helped the plaintiffs in the case. It's neither expensive nor inconvenient. It amounts to flipping a switch. Priscilla Duncan, the lead plaintiff in the case, noted with some amazement that the Secretary of State's protest was lodged with the Supreme Court at 4.38 p.m. and the justices came back with their ruling at 5.18 p.m. It's just unbelievable that they examined the pleadings and got eight judges to concur in half an hour on a Monday afternoon, she said. In 2005, Moore said, homosexual conduct should be illegal. In an interview televised on C-SPAN, Moore added, it is immoral. It is defined by the law as detestable. During a debate in September 2017, he went out of his way to bemoan the fact that sodomy and sexual perversion sweep the land. In a speech in February, Moore appeared to suggest that the terrorist attacks of September 11 were the result of divine retribution against the United States and prophesied in the Book of Isaiah. In comments first reported by CNN, Moore quoted Isaiah 30, 12, 13, saying, Because you have despised his word and trust in perverseness and oppression, and say thereon. Therefore this iniquity will be to you as a breach ready to fall, swell out in a high wall, whose breaking cometh suddenly at an instance. Moore then noted, Sounds a little bit like the Pentagon, whose breaking came suddenly at an instance, doesn't it? He added, if you think that's coincidence, if you go to verse 25, there should be up on every high mountain and upon every hill, rivers and streams of water in the day of the great slaughter when the towers will fall. In an interview with The Guardian in August, Moore praised Putin for his views on gay rights. Maybe Putin is right. Maybe he's more akin to me than I know. The comments came after Moore suggested the United States could be described as the focus of evil in the world because we promote a lot of bad things. Moore specifically named gay marriage as one of those bad things.